just in case another infiltrator is going to appear behind me again. No, apparently not. Oh no, yes he is. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead, Dave. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Imperial on Reforged Eden 2. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and today we've had a bit of an eventful start um, over there somewhere. I'm not sure if they'll still show up if I ping them. We'll just have a look a second. Uh, mm, no. We just had a base attack. Um, this time it was two heavy bombers and um, a siege melee drone. So it's getting heavier every single time, which is not the greatest thing in the world. Um, I have also done a bunch of work to the ship, as you will see. And I need to put these things back in the fridge after I move the fridge. And I wanted to just start by, we're going to give this thing a splash of sort of color. I'm not sure if, okay, that's not really what I was going for. Um, let's just go for, I'm going to go for just the smooth look. Start off with, is that what I want or do I want like that? Um, kind of like the brighter white, I'll be honest. I'm going to paint the whole block. I'm going to go medium, and we're just going to do this for now. We're painting on mass, and that'll start off as a base coat. And then I'll worry about the rest later. Just makes it a bit more visible for now. Um, let's, uh, lift off slightly so I can just make sure I've done the underside. Um, yeah, you'll see there's been a few modifications to the layout and, uh, why can I hit that? There we go. Better. A few modifications to the layout and there's still a couple of holes here, which may get used for further thrusters in the future. I think we're actually okay for thrusters at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six down. So I'm actually happy with that. So I'm gonna just chuck in. I'll either chuck in another couple of spotlights or I'll chuck in another couple of blocks in a bit. But yeah, this is now the look it's going for. Well, just, there we go, just snap like that. We'll grab the drone out and we'll fly around it that way. Be easier. If you don't mind closing the little door, please. And this is what she now looks like. And I can hit some blocks I've missed while I'm at it. Excellent. There we go. Um, I still need to put a shutter or something up here just to cover some of this. I mean, I could tuck these away inside. But I think I'm probably, I, I might end up putting a few more blocks on just to shape this up in a bit. And behind these covered um, spotlights, which will probably move a bit later, I'm just using them as markers at the moment, is a gap for some core extensions. So that is the ship at the moment. I do appreciate that several people gave me suggestions of names. Yes, sorry, jump cut there, I went to check. But a couple of people did give me suggestions for names, which were the Beetle or the Bishop. Uh, bishop standing for, I think it was, Building in Survival um, Hinders Orderly Progress, um, which I don't, I mean, it's, it's painful, but it's not that bad. Um, and the Beetle. Now, I do see what they're saying about the Beetle, but um, I'm not feeling the beetle. I feel the beetle more for a land ship, I'll be honest. I think the beetle would be better for that kind of a thing. So I'm going to forego the beetle, but you did give me an idea, which is it's probably going to be named the Hornet. Because that's still some sort of a insect slash bug thing. 
So I'm going to call it the Hornet because it's designed to be an early sort of starter shooty ship more than anything else. It's never going to have a warp drive. It's not like the short hop. In terms of upgradability, I suspect the short hop is a superior ship and eventually we'll probably put a couple of guns on these bits out here as well. But this ship is here to be an early shooty ship. Now other things I need to do and get underway is I have not yet been to recover the the grow plots which I need to do. Um, I've been making some food because I'm starving to death man. Um, unfortunately I've noticed that to make any of these or most of these like this one I need medicinal growth. What the hell is a medicinal growth? Um, I'm not quite sure what what's needed for medicinal growth. Screw it. There's a new plant that produces more plant protein than than that. So I don't need that. I just need nutrient solution. Okay. So I can make it work. Okay. I just need nutrient solution, which requires bones, bones. Which bones, 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 bones. I've seen some bones somewhere. Got some bones kicking around. Not got lots of bones, but there's definitely some bones kicking around somewhere. Maybe, possibly. Or is there? Maybe not. Maybe I'm lying to myself. No, oh, pass. Okay. So I'm going to go and firstly pick up, I should have made a salvage core. Yes, I did. See, happy days. And that means I'm going to go up to the base up the way, um, which was, there's that abandoned workshop still to do. There was a ruin over here somewhere, I think it was, that had some bits in it which will grab those items and bring them back to base before we get things too underway today. Okay, so I won't bore you guys too much with this because you've already seen me do this eight minutes of fun and games. Um, and I didn't get around to doing this one in between episodes. So as I'm going past it, we're going to just quickly do this and see if we can do it in under the required eight minutes so we'll be going very fast here well this is the smg the smg is actually not too bad doesn't do a vast amount of damage but still hello hello whoa there you are okay oh there he is ow okay that hurt and something i should bear in mind is I haven't got a vast amount of health. I didn't actually eat my food before I left, which is probably not the wisest thing in the world. Um, yeah, that's uh, not my smartest move ever. Okay, so let's just reload very quickly and okay, let's get ready to go. So should be able to go down here and and it will uh, go with this one. Oh, that's access denied already. Okay. So I need to go through the other bit first, don't I? Which was, which will probably be the same for both bases. So what I'm going to do is go here. And it was 4424. Four. I remember rightly from last time. There we go. So hopefully... That will... No, that still leaves that access denied. Really? Let's go in here. Hello? Uh, was there a switch in here or something? No. Don't quite know. So let's have a quick look at the goodies we get this time round. Some extra raw materials. Happy days. Nothing too exciting. Right. 
So I'll put a beef cutting while we sort out whatever the hell that was. A rifle upgrade kit. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so I'll just show you grabbing this. I've actually just been attacked by um, an infiltrator in there. I think because I'm actually above the quorum at the moment and just clearing out that area. So extra goodies. Another rifle upgrade kit. Two at once. Beautiful. This, I believe, is the way out. This, I don't believe there's anything in here other than just some multi-tools. Yeah. Uh, you can die. Because I don't want to die. So that one must have popped out just as I came through before. So that leaves me just to go down and clear the core room, which I'll keep you in for. I know we did this base last time, but we'll, as I say, we'll try and go through it pretty fast this time. And not worry too much. Right, let's get rid of that one. Last time there were two more came around here. Yeah. Why, why, why have I got injured? How did I get injured? How did I get bitten? How did I get a freaking infected wound? What the cock? How did that happen? Uh, fortunately, that deals with infected wound. Excellent. Okay. That hurt. But it deals with infected wound. I don't understand how I suddenly got an infected wound there. I didn't actually see that guy attack me at all. What was that? I got a pistol, another assault rifle, ooh, and a slightly unhappy child. Um, <clears throat> so, right, let's go and not get bogged down with the looting. Because I won't show you all these little bits. We'll go and deal with the core room. And that should be it. Right, just be ready. Just in case another infiltrator is going to appear behind me again. No, nope, apparently not. Oh no, yes he is. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead, Dave. He's not dead. He's not dead. There was another one in there last time as well. Oh no, there he is. Oh my Christ. Oh my Christ. Oh my Christ, that was close. Okay, okay. I didn't expect myself to get so close to dying within like 16%. 16 hit points right there. That was a bit messy. That was definitely a bit messy, right. I'll clear the core. Yeah, holy crap, that was messier than last time. I thought the infiltrator wasn't spawning right there. Fine, let's just use the um, sniper rifle. And now I've got slightly red o vision. Come on. Die core, there we go. Yeah, I've got slightly red o vision for, for my troubles. Alright, let's uh, yoink, yoink, yoink. Holy crap, that hit, that block has how many hit points? Okay, what do we got in here? A large optronic matrix. Wow, nice. Fuel cells and sathium. Okay, not terrible. Right, in which case, this is where I am going to slap down this core. And now I am going to go and loot all the things. So, like I say, I'm not going to subject you to me looting all the things because that will take a bit of time okay so i've come back over here i've picked up most of the bits i did do a run back home after i picked up all the bits from that base um and now i'm basically back here i've got on board with me the grow plots and a few little sprouts i picked up 
I may try and see if I can buy some sprouts if I've got cash um, for that. But I'm thinking while we're here, we may as well uh, not invest in a hover bike. That looks really cool. Um, is speak to this guy. Yes, yeah, this guy and see if we can do his job. First of all, I'm just going to turn that little uh, map marker off for the Polaris base. Let's get rid of it. There we go. And then we'll speak to this guy and see if we can do his job. Yeah, I know. You've been added to your PDA. If you approach the planet that has the active contracts, they'll appear and you can accept them. Great. See ya. Right. Okay. Maybe it's because I've switched my um, PDA off his thing so let's um just check there i haven't switched it back already so let's go here new horizons plausible deniability um okay cool stars so plausible deniability we need to resume yep proceed right and we are ready. Can we now accept it? Are you ready to accept the job? Yes, we are. So I'm ready. A small trade federation cargo fighter was carrying sensitive cargo for us when it had engine trouble and had to set down outside the safe zone. It's only a matter of time before Xerox patrols discover it and call it in, at which point they'll likely shoot first and ask questions later. Your job this time is to find where the freighter went down and to do what it takes to get them off the ground. If patrols come sniffing around, make a big show of defending the freighter so they'll think it's affiliates with the UCH instead of Polaris. Okay. You won't be reimbursed for any materials or components that may be needed to repair the ship though, so keep that in mind. As for payment, the going rate is 10,000 credits for this job. If you do a good job, you might get a bonus. I've sent a data packet to your AI regarding the details. Delete it when you're done and I'll get going. Okie dokie. And IDA, you have the data packet. Hopefully he didn't give you malware this time. Okay, according to the manifest, the freighter is carrying weapons technology. Of course it is. That would be about right. <clears throat> well, that's the way it goes. We'll see whether what weapons it is if we can, IDA. I'm not gonna care too much about it. Let's uh, see, that's where my base is. Landed ship, okay, is over there. I'll have to come back later and grab the bits out of the other one. I'm going to need to get together a deconstructor, I think, because I'm now going to have about seven, um, what was it, small constructors. But, you know, good for parts, I guess. Okay, so we're a couple of kilometers out. I'm just going to see if I can pick up these deposits on the way as well. There's a heat signature. More graphite. So much graphite on this planet. Unbelievable. Okay, and this one should be in range. Well, that's quite a sizable ship, you know. Uh, more graphite. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Okay. What does the ship need? Because, of course, I haven't got a constructor on board. So I found a freighter. Looks like the crew's already on the ground performing repairs, okay. Mission data says you're required to board the ship and report to the captain. Okie dokie. I'm going to leave the engines running. For now, and we'll have to see what what's going on. Where, where's, the, where's the boarding? Boarding is there. Okay. Let's uh, not loot stuff by the looks of it. And you're not a captain. 
Warning. System overheated. Turret tracking offline. Poor engine misfire. Urgent repairs needed. I hate to say it, but he doesn't look like a captain. Um, let's speak to the captain first before we start clicking the computer. A hey, captain? Mon Capitan! Where the devil are you, sir? Uh, I'm going to suggest up. And there's more controls there. Mon Capitan? Aha! Capitan! Captain? I heard you were in some trouble and needed some help. Uh, one of Polaris sent us to help? I'm Orly. Captain of the... Do Domes? Dominoes. I'm going to call you Dominoes. Um, the rest of the crew is out patching up the damage from the bad landing we had. Hit some junk as we were coming in on approach. Smashed our engine pods real bad. I hope you've got some spare parts. Nope. Because we ain't getting it this tub off the ground anytime soon fair enough if you ain't look here so them Zurax are getting ready to po poke us in the move in only we can so what do you need me to do my man I need you to get and give me crew a hand with the repairs I've already emptied our supplies patching up the engine pods but there's some kind of problem with the landing gear that's sending false signals to the ship's core. You probably pass the engineer on the way up the ramp. He's working on the landing gears and says he needs help, but I don't got no one else to send. So that's where you need it. Come back to me when you're done helping. Okay, fair enough. I didn't see a guy. Um, if I talk to turret control, warning. CPU exceeded insufficient power. Uh, install additional CPU, oh god. And is that one going to be the same on the other side then? I don't suppose I'm allowed to use that. No I'm not, okay. Warning, yeah, okay. So we got CPU issues. Okay, here's the engineer. Look, I'm going to shut the ship down a second. Just uh, let me turn my thrusters off. Save a bit of fuel. And I'll ask you what's going on. Captain already called down to say you're here. To help us out with this problem. I hope you know how to fix magnetic interlocks with vacuum tape. Because we're out of spare parts to fix this properly. Uh, okay, what do you need? Grab a pen and paper, I'll tell you what parts you need. Go out and either buy them or make them yourself. 50 steel plates. 30 mechanical components. 48 electronics and 20 plastic tubing okay seems easy enough I've copied the list down to my PDA that shouldn't be a problem better get to it then them Zurax will be knocking the door very soon don't want to be caught with our pants down alright on the case okay so let's go and get the parts Right, it says supply the engineer with components. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, right, let's head back this way. Okay, so we're back home. We've got hopefully our shopping list somewhere. Let's um offload these parts a second. Um, from the Hornet, let's get rid of these. That can go in there. That can go in there, and the others can go in the fridge for now. Right, let's quickly check. He wanted parts, yes, but I don't remember which parts, he said. And I'm probably going to have to manufacture some. So let's see if the PDA actually has a list here. There you go. 50 steel plates, 30 mechanical components, 48 electronics, and 20 plastic tubing. So, let's see. 20 plastic tubing, not a freaking problem. So, just chuck that in. There we go, 20 plastic tubing. Is that done? Uh, 50 
plates. We're one short. Wonderful. Let's um deal with that then. Okay, and next on the list was there was mechanical components. Is that those? Yes. He wanted like 30, didn't he? I'll take excess because I have excess. 30 and 48 electronics. Okay, electronics, 13. So I need at least another 35. Okay, so let's do that. How many do we output? Oh no, output count is like 8. Okay, so that's going to be... Whoa, 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 easy tiger. There we go. That is plenty. So that should be everything he needs. Let's take, just to be sure, some extra. I'm not going to take that much extra. But that's carbon substrate. <laughs> Almost fell into the trap. Plastic tubes. 20. Okay. So let's make the rest of those. Um, we want... Not that. I'll just let it make 20. And then we'll go and drop that off. Okay, so we're coming back down. Parts in tow. No bad guys. Or at least I don't think I didn't even ping the detector. But no bad guys by the looks of it. So let's park up. And... Get out. And then I'm going to put them all on my person if I can, just to make sure I've got them to hand. And then we'll go, hello, sir. Ah, you need that list again? I thought you had it on your PDA. No, I brought you all the parts you need, my man. Nice work, mate. I'll have this repaired in 15 minutes and we should be able to take off. If we're lucky and feather the throttle so it don't overload again. We'll have to set down fast at the trade station for proper repairs. Captain gonna be happy about that. Well, there you go. You go up the bridge and tell the captain the good news. With the repairs and pre-fight checks, we're looking at about an hour slogging if nothing goes wrong. Uh-oh. Oi, Captain. We've got a lot of Xerox ships. Okay, let's lock and load because there's Xerox ships coming. I knew this was going to be a thing sooner or later. Where are Xeraxian scumbag ships? Okay. I don't see any ships. Oh no, um, it still says inform the captain. I mean, I'm going to leave the ship running this time. Because although it says inform the captain, I'm assuming... As soon as I inform the captain, it's going to be, look out, Xerox on the way. Damn it, I thought we had more time. You Polaris guys, how's the repairs coming? Engineer says repairs will be done in about 15 minutes. Uh, pre fight checks in another 40. That ain't enough time, damn it. The ships will be here in less than 5 minutes. And the guns are still out of commission. Looks as if we're going to have to... Um, Equip a deal with high-speed bombers. You know how to use manual control turret? Yes. This tub's guns might not have a lot tracking. Blah, fire them manually. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Go down to the core room or ship's computer. We've got flak turret. Gatling gun turret. Mm. Okay, I'm on it. You're going to ask me to actually go down and, and, and use things? Um, can I not shoot them down with my ship, please? Take control of Dominguez's turrets and shoot the bombers. I mean, really? I've got to take control of the turret? Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Uh, manual control. Unlocking manual control. Stand beneath. Play the holographic. And press in interact to take control. Okay. Okay, whoa. Right. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like... 
Oh god. Oh god, I'm not sure which turret. Oh, I, I'm not sure I picked the right turret here. They're moving too quick. They're moving too janky. Really? Oh my lord. Okay. Come on, janky ships. I, I'm, I think I'm hitting us at times. Can I face the other way? Is there a way to face the other way? And see if they can. You, we can do it from a different angle. No? Oh god. Oh god. Can I not just use my own ship? Yes, one down. Okay, finally. Uh, come on. I wish there was an easy way to do this. Let's up the mouse movement speed here. Okay, I'm upping my mouse movement speed, which might well help or hinder me. There you go, another one down. Alright, let's get that one. So, I apologise about the mouse movement speed. Oh boy, you showed him. Yep, we did. Alright, let's go speak to the captain. Let's go sort my mouse speed out. There we go, better. Hey, me. Ship's burning through fuel, but okay. So, I'm fine shooting there, kiddo. Okay. You really stuck stuck it to them Zurax thugs. If you ain't ever getting tired of running errands for the Polaris, you should come work for me. Over at the Trade Federation. We'll be glad to have someone like you on board. I'm afraid I have a prior engagement with the Polaris, so I'll have to take a rain check on that, Captain. That's too bad, my man. Can't blame him a perm for trying. Now, since Zurak saw you coming aboard, they'll think you've taken over the ship and want nothing to do with the hostage situation, so I've called Polaris to sort it all out for him. Looks like you're in the clean, I reckon. Okay. Since I know you're fixing to get, get a next space something at the Polaris, we'll probably sniff out a bonus. I'll give you an insulation booster for your suit. Ha! <laughs> sweet. Um, <coughs> not. Um... I'll make it easy for you to get around in space and cold places. There's an armor locker in the hold. Gee, thanks. No, it ain't. Most people from Polsec take the cargo and split. They'd leave us to deal with the Xerox ourselves. Don't turn out like them. The only thing you care about is credits. Right. I'm off. Okay. So, what you're saying is, he gave me some money. And he gave me an insulation boost, which I already have because I bought it in the previous episodes. Never mind, he says. I didn't actually pick up the bits from the um, from near the, near the trade station because I realised it was almost just as far to go home. So um, I realised we'd almost certainly have to go back afterwards. So all right, we'll head back to the trade station and see what he's got to say. Okay. So we're back, and I do not know why I seem to be stuck with battle music, which is just going off here. And can I please turn the engines off? Thank you. There we go. Because we are burning through fuel at the moment, and I need to go out and harvest some trees, which means I have to repair the hover vessel. Right. Mr. Pavel, we've done what you need. Welcome back. I've just received word from the Xerox that the Terran terrorist has taken control of a freighter and want the Polaris to handle negotiations. That's quite a coup you pulled off there. Um, and we at Polaris are very happy with the results of this transaction. Not only can we get our import taxes written off for the cargo, but we got leverage over the local authorities since they launched an attack on a Trade Federation freighter. Um, 
I expect to be paid accordingly, good sir. You did well on this assignment, so I've been authorised to give you a 2,500 bonus on top of your original 10,000 credits offered. I'm sure the freight camp captain likely gave you a bonus as well. No, didn't give me a penny, mate. And the UCQ crew who made that deal with you? What about them? Ah, I was about to get to that. The exact details on your people's contracts are still classified, so I'll summarise them for you. Your naval personnel agreed to long-term contracts with the Polaris to loan us two teams of UCH of UC Engineer Corps to provide Terran equipment and manufacturing processes to Polaris Megacorp in exchange for funding, transportation and an operating dialogue with various Polaris Megacorp subsidiaries. Upon completion of arrangements, the clients were taken to Kennex 62 in orbit aboard a pair of transports for medical attention to be assigned to long distance couriers to their chosen destination. Okay. Connect 62, or just Connect Station, is a major transport and trading hub for the Polaris in orbit above this dump of a planet. You'll need a ship or a teleporter clearance to reach it. If you're looking for the transporter logs and clearance to the station, I recommend you ask the attendant at the cargo bay on level two. I've seen them authorized to give you that information. Okay, well, I can ask them, that's for sure. And with that, our business together is concluded. I hope I don't see you again. Same to you, my man. Pleasure. Right. So the Cargo Bay Shipping and Transport Company on the upper level operate a pair of transporter shuttles, blah, 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 that are on the roof. And there's a teleporter, but, you know, I don't need the teleporter. So where is the transport company? ice products so which, which which guy ask around the cargo bay on level two I'm assuming this is level two I mean this is level two right do we mean you sir welcome to car the cargo bay number one shipping and transport company in the quadrant I'm afraid we can't book any flights this time due to pirate activity. Our shipping services are still operational, provided you have the legal address. Um, the administrator sent me, says you have some logs I can take a look at. Ah uh, yes, Administrator Pavel just sent me a message about that. You were looking for the transport logs for a chartered flight from almost four years ago. That's a long time. Do you know what you're looking for? two shuttles carrying humans to Kennex. Uh, give me a moment, sir. At P7. Whoever at P7 is. There's only one flight that matched those criteria. Two shuttles transported 27 of your humans to Kennex stations. Three of them went to OK Medical for long-term treatment, while the remaining passengers were booked for transportation on a Polsec convoy. The flight was booked and paid for by the Polaris Executive Board. Uh, what's the medical? Okay, medical is one of the major medical suppliers in the area. Yep. Okay. They have a small branch of Kennex. They don't usually handle long-term care. But this Ensign Emerson must have been in bad shape. Okay, so that was Emerson was not in a good way. And Polsec is Pole Security. Polsec... Pro private security forces uh, they're the reasons pirates don't mess with our shuttles and package freighters usually um, for your people to get on one of their flights that have to be very important the executive board no one but security personnel are allowed aboard their ships anyway for me to find out where they were taken after that uh, I'm afraid not. The cargo bay is not directly affiliated with Polsec. After all, they're basically the military. Polsec has its own docking bay on Kennex Station, so you might want to try asking around there. And what about the Polaris Executive Board? The Polaris Executive Board are the owners of the, the Polaris. They run the entire corporation. They are, I think, 12 executives 
that direct all Polaris and its subsidiaries. I'm not really sure, I just work the counter here. I'm not really management material, so I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff. I know there is a CEO that makes bit, all the big decisions. They took the position 15 cycles ago and, hasn't been a, and there hasn't been a problem, so I guess everything's fine. Anyway, it looks like your people got full board approval to be sent somewhere. Okay, and we already know how we get to Kennex, don't we? Normally we're able to book a flight with us. Unfortunately, a hijacker apparently crashed a freighter. So the Imperial authorities have ordered us to put a hold on all commercial transport flights off the planet. So the hijacker can't escape. If you don't have teleporter clearance, your only other option is to use a personal spacecraft. The Empire can't stop private ships. So there's nothing stopping you from flying up there yourself if you have a small ship. I do. If you do have your own ship, I can give you the coordinates to Kennex Station and clearance to use the main hangar at Kennex. Is that something you'd be interested in? That's exactly what I need, yes. Um, I'm sure I can sort out a ship for myself. Um, yeah, just look outside. I've sent the access codes and the coordinates of Kinex to your personal device. Thank you for choosing to fly with the cargo bay. Okay, Frisbee. And that is the end of chapter three. And we're starting chapter four where we proceed to Kinex. Okay, so I guess we'll have to go up and have a look. Okay, Commando, we've located Kinex Station and have plotted a course, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I recommend first I make sure I've got some wood processing in the background and I see if I can use this med bay because I've been dying for bloody ages. Oh, so much better. Oh, I'm alive. Okay, right. I guess the land is where we're heading to next. And I think I parked my ship around the other corner. Once I've decided where I park my ship, we will head up there. But I think that is going to have to be next time because I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always. And join us again next time when hopefully we'll get to head up, head up, head up to Kinex. Thanks a lot.